Hey y'all, so I'm just getting home and uh, I wanted to show you, I got, oops, sorry baby, <laughs> I, see. I got the uh, chicken boiling, this is what I pretty much feed them every night, I just boil some chicken, chicken tenders, and yeah, usually when I come home I, I get that going and put that on the stove and then I'll go outside to water or whatever you know come on guys look what i got but i want to show you all um what i feed what i feed the dogs uh well give them as a as a as a treat come see come on papa so for, as far as chew tours go ah see see so good boy papa so these with the knots on the end, generally I don't like those because those knots can um, really get caught in their intestinal tract. But this is what uh, I've been pretty happy with. Um, so yeah, and the reason I like these is because they uh, they don't have any of those um, knots or anything. Good boy. Good boy, Papa. And then they have this kind of like a, uh, give me this too. I'm gonna get it. Stuck on like a, uh, some kind of a treat, chicken. I think this is like chicken paste, chicken beef. And uh, so he, he's uh, he's being shy. He's like, I don't get it. Why are you being, why are you handing this to me so nicely? But yeah, he, um, he usually takes it right out of my hand. But that's what I like to give them as a chew toy, and they love these. Um, so, I don't give a, a lot of them to them, uh, but I'll say maybe one a day at the most. Give me this chew. <laughs> give me this chew. Come on, get it. Ozzy. Let me come sit again. Oh, Ozzy. Good boy, Papa. Very good. Good boy, Papa. So he's gonna go ahead and take it outside here. Man, it's getting, it's getting, um, it's getting dark. Come here, baby. Ah, see, it's getting dark earlier nowadays. But uh, I don't know. The weather score just though, so I can't complain. It's just to, today I got home and it's already dark outside. But, but yeah, so the other thing I'm sure y'all know, and if you don't, I hope, I hope you don't give, I hope you don't, um, I hope you don't give your, your dogs cooked bones. I think a lot of people know that already, but, um, the reason the reason why cooked cooked bones are so dangerous is because they uh, they can splinter they can they can splinter in the in the dog's intestine. He's like I don't trust you. <laughs> he didn't trust me around his bone. But yeah, so so never give any cooked bones. It can really I mean seriously can seriously puncture puncture your your, uh, your dog's intestine. But I'll show you what I give them. Oh, she's over there barking. Yeah, so actually, I I didn't even order these. I I, I order groceries sometimes, and um, if they don't have those those straight ones like these, sometimes they'll sub. You know how they can substitute whatever grocery item. So this was a substitution. Um, but I'm gonna throw this one away. So luckily. They didn't. Uh, they didn't swallow this because literally, though the the mastiffs, the Italian mastiffs, kind of corso, they can swallow this thing whole, and uh, it can it can literally get lodged in their intestine and cause an obstruction, which is uh, very very dangerous. But yeah, so the marrow bones that I give them, I give them this uh, frozen steak in the in the mornings when I go to work. And um, this is kind of what's left of it. They usually clean out the rest of that marrow, but 
Um, but since this is raw, it's not cooked, you can see how um, it's, it's more compact bone. Once you start boiling it or cooking it, um, that compact bone starts to splinter and it, it's more uh, friable. And so it can, a uh, little splinter of it can break off and, and get lodged in your, in your dog's intestine. And it can, uh, it can be fatal. But anyway, um, I'll show you real quick. Yeah. See, I usually get the four pack of them. I don't know if you can see that. Baby girl. She's like, yeah, show me, show me that. But, uh. That's a big one. Um, <clears throat> the smaller ones are cheaper. This one's. Actually, prices has, have gone really have gone up. These used to be about three dollars, three dollars and fifty cents maybe. But uh, yeah, it's a beef shank, and I love those. But uh, but yeah. So anyway, what's that baby boy? What's that? He wants to go bark, but he he doesn't want to leave his chew toy. <laughs> He's like, let me go check out this noise, but let me take this chew toy before Dolce gets it. Cause she's pulled a fast one on him before acting like there's something over there actually i'm gonna go check that out my, myself because because uh sounded like a weird noise out there oh sorry y'all I don't think you're gonna be able to see the rest of this video because it's so dark outside. But anyway, I'll uh, I'll cut this one short. I just wanted to check in with everybody and say hi. What's up, Papa? And uh, I guess it was nothing out there. And um, and to, and show y'all what I what kind of rawhide chew toy that I give them. So, when they're when they were puppies, uh, I used to give them the little pig's ears, you know, the dried up pig's ear. But if I go, if I got those for them now at this stage in their life, it'd be gone in two seconds. <laughs> they they swallow that thing whole. Baby girl. So anyways. Yes, you're my baby. Well, hope everybody's having a good night. And uh, we'll talk at you later. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, y'all. <laughs>